Alfie here, once again at Vente Pain Relief Clinic. I'm wishing you guys are having a good day. Um, today I just want to give you a bit of a, uh, a tip in regards to if you're having neck pain. So today we're going to talk a little bit about um, a muscle called the scalenes. Um, the scalenes muscle, as you can see on Skelly here, this is a schematic and I don't want you um, anatomists to come after me. Uh, it's not exactly 100% accurate but uh, I'm hoping that it relays um, uh, the message to you in regards to what could be happening to you with your neck pain. So the scalings muscle runs around, um, you see here, this is your cervical spine, your neck here. I'm just gonna move them a little closer. And basically, uh, it's a group of three muscles. Uh, there's one that's anterior, one that's middle scalings, and one that's posterior. And they base, it basically, as a group, they attach uh, to your, um, your, your, your neck here and into the first and second ribs. Okay, and the reason why I'm mentioning that is because it's important to note some of the symptoms uh, of the scalings. Um, you're going to find, of course, the tightness and the soreness around the side of the neck that is tight, the, whatever scalings, if it's left or right. Uh, limited range of motion uh, through side bending, particularly on the, towards the opposite side, and um, rotation also. You may get radiating symptoms down the arm. So uh, the pattern might look like uh, you're getting pain in the chest, pain in the shoulder blade and down into the arm, into your thumb, into this portion of your hand here, um, as you can see. Right, so if you're noticing that, that's actually potentially indicating that the scalings is triggered and referring symptoms down the arm. The other reason why you're getting referral pain down the arm is that if you notice here on Skelly, there's this tube here that I've uh, put there. That tube indicates the neurovascular bundle. So basically the neurovascular bundle is um, the, the, uh, the nerves and the blood vessels that run down from the neck down the arm. So if it's very tight, particularly on the side that's tight, you may get symptoms running down the arm because the scalings are basically pressing down on that neurovascular bundle. Um, the cause of uh, the scalings um, tightening up is uh, the usual head forward position if you're in front of the desk typing away and you're craning your neck forward um, if you're rotating it to one particular side more so than the other maybe your sleep posture is not that great in that maybe your head is basically falling towards the bed more so like your pillow might be uh, too soft and it's not um, keeping everything in line the neck in line with the rest of the spine and in the morning you find that you know your neck feels very very sore on the side that you're kind of like uh, scrunching on uh, the other thing too is apical breathing. What apical breathing is basically you're breathing at the top of your chest. As I mentioned before, the scalings muscles attach to the first and second rib. Anytime that a muscle attaches to any part of the rib cage, it's generally, um, it generally helps with breathing. So if you're breathing at the top of your chest here, what generally happens is that, that scalings muscles becomes um, very active and it becomes very, very tight. So just imagine if you're in front of the desk, if you're very stressed out, your head's forward, maybe rotated to one side and you're not breathing properly, those scalings muscles become very, very tight. Uh, in fact, like um, the, a common uh, theme that I see every once in a while is a swimmer coming in complaining of neck pain, and it's usually the scalings because of their breathing patterns. They might be breathing towards one side of the neck uh, or the other. So this is just a little uh, bit of a health tip for you that potentially your neck pain uh, or your furl symptoms might be coming from this muscle, the scalings. If you've got questions, feel free to give us a call at 416-644-8894 or email us at admin at ventapainrelief.ca. Um, by the way, like we premiere these health tips, these health educational tips every Monday at uh, 5.30. So if you're on the GO train or uh, if you're on your way, if you're you know, leaving work, going, going home, and uh, you've got your phone on you, you can watch these videos. Have yourself a great day and take care.